Hello everyone, Amud here from the Target Com YouTube channel and today we are going to learn about generic methods in Java. So in last two videos I have already covered what is generic in Java and how can we create generic types like generic classes and generic interfaces and also we have seen different scenarios as well. So in today's video we are going to learn about generic method. So let's understand why we require something called generic method. So why we need to use generic with methods. Suppose I want to create some utilities. Okay, so let me go and create a new class. I will name it as utilities. So let's take very simple example where I will create some methods. So you can see what I'm going to create like public. This will simply return one int. Then get int. And I will have a value here, right? Int well, okay. And whatever I, I am taking as an argument, same thing I am returning, okay. So this particular method will take integer and it will return one integer. So this is one util utility method. Now suppose I want to get, I want to have another utility or another method which will do the same thing for double or string. So let me create another method called public instead of int i want a string okay get a string and i will take a value here maybe val and then same thing i'm going to return so very simple thing one class two methods one is taking int returning int one one is taking a string and returning a string let me go and create the usage class let me create a main method since these are non-static method to what i need to do i need to get an object of utility class so let me create an object of it now let me call method like get into value so i need to pass something integer and the same thing i can store into a int value right so this so out i am printing a and same thing we have another method which is like get a string and here to pass a string value and we know that this method returning a string type so let me store into a variable of type string and let me print it out let me print it b so let me run this program and we'll see the expected output okay 10 and more so you see there's no problem in this tomorrow if you require some any other or any other method which is returning which is taking and returning some different types so you can simply copy it and create a new method but actually we are duplicating the codes it's I suppose tomorrow if you need to change something so you need to change in all the duplicated methods so this is not a good way already we have seen this example with the uh, classes interface previously and we use the genrix so can we use the genrix actually we have used the genrix with methods okay but that time i didn't force or didn't uh, focus more on those concepts so separately i am covering the genetic method concept so instead of creating multiple methods what you can, i can do i will have a method i will name it simply get or maybe get value what i need to do i need to pass the some parameters of some type here i am passing integer here i am passing a string can i use the tab parameter means instead of mentioning the abstract type can i mention the t we know that that is type parameter and the name will be value so i just created one method and passing this t as a type parameter and let me put public okay and uh, whatever value whatever type of value are receiving the same way returning so can i write instead of uh, return type uh, i can write t okay and this will be my method okay so instead of mentioning the explicit type as a argument here and whatever return time i'm uh, passing or return time i'm using instead of that i'm using t okay this that you call type parameter so one option we have already seen in earlier videos if you're using a type parameter so we need to pass it like this right with the class name and here since we need to return the value so let me return well okay so this way already we have seen if you want to use any type parameter with the method you need to declare or need to mention that type parameter here with the class name or interface name but 
it's not necessary or mandatory what you can do instead of defining or passing the type parameter with the class name or interface same you can use you can pass the type parameter with your method as well like this so whatever type parameter you are using instead of mentioning it here you can use it here as well in the angular bracket okay and then you can remove this method because these are all are duplicate methods and there's no required no need of it okay so this is called generic method okay so instead of mentioning uh, type parameter with the class name interface name i mention at the method level itself so usage will be no more different if you see the class example here so i need to remove this method because i am not using anymore so what i need to do u dot get value is a method and you can see it is taking a type of t so if you simply pass the value automatically it will understand or automatically it will understand what type of value, value you are passing so let me, let me pass it like u dot get value you can see if you see the mouse over on this method you can see it is returning a integer type so now you can store into integer value and you can use it you can print it or whatever you want to do you can do suppose i don't want to pass integer value i want to use a string value simply u dot get value and instead of t just pass some string value so automatically this method will return you a type of string because whatever type we are accepting as a parameter same type we are returning so here we can store the value like a string name and uh, you can see that this is out name let me run the program okay so we it is giving the proper output so you just saw that how effectively we reduce the duplicate method with the help of generics okay now let me show show you one use case what i'm going to do i will do public and i will put a string get value okay a string something name says out what i will do not says out i will simply return the name so if you see this is overloaded i try to replicate the overloaded concept overloading concept here the same method name i am passing the different type right here it is t here it is a string okay now what i'm going to do if you see the usage generic method here i am already passing the string here right get value of amod here what will happen whether it is calling this method or it is calling this method so so to show that what i will do i am simply going to add one says out statement and i will write first get well and the same thing i will copy paste and put into the second method i just want to show what is happening okay because this both the names are same here here i'm sorry here i'm passing the string okay so this should go here as well in the first also because t can be a string as well and here explicitly we are passing so what it should print the first one or the second one let me run and show you the output you can see the first one okay for the first obviously to first value for the second one it is not going to the generic method it is going to the explicit method okay which is called here okay so this is also an interview question where they will give you this kind of thing and they will ask whether this program will compile or run or not okay so actually it will compile and run properly because it will not show any any error okay this is now another concept we can pass the type parameter here as well and here as well right at the uh, class name or interface name level and also we can mention at the method level also we can use mix of mix means i can mention one parameter like suppose as okay and let me copy this one and let me get another method and what i will do t value 
I will part as value 1. Okay. And uh, whatever you can do means what I did, I declared one type parameter here and one parameter at the method level and both I can use. Okay. But problem, but the another concept you need to understand if I using at the type level, okay, then you can use it wherever you want to use in the method. But if you declare anything at the method level, you cannot use the same thing for another method. Okay, means if I do public void some something so here you cannot use t okay why because t you are declaring here at method level okay so you cannot use this t outside of this method okay but if you try to use s so it will work because s is declared at the class level okay so you need to understand this concept thank you everyone